how to set remote environment per Ansible task or play, I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. You could set the remote environment with Ansible statement environment. The environment statement could be applied at a task level or play level. It's very useful to set, for example, proxy in a corporate environment, but you could apply it to a lot of environment variable. And as you know, in a POSIX system, there are a lot of it. So let me show you one simple example about how to set environment per Ansible playbook task or play level. And I think uh, code speak louder than word. So see us in the editor. Wait a minute. If you want more information and a really great explanation, I will suggest to take a look on the official Ansible documentation. It is very comprehensive for this task and I really recommend you. There are also some examples and some uh, side effects of this, especially with uh, proxy things. So it's very worth it to take a look and uh, use it in your day-to-day -day journey. Welcome to my editor. I will show you one playbook uh, how to set remote environment. First of all, let's begin our YAML document with three dash and a name for our play remote environment demo that is going to target host all of my inventory. I would like also to skip uh, gather facts because we don't need it, so why waste time? And uh, let's go deep in the environment. Let me set it up one. For example, example, <laughs> yes, a great fantasy, uh, that is going to be assigned the value test1. I'm setting at uh, play level, as you can see, so all the task, uh, all the following task uh, will uh, hereditate uh, the example environment. And I'm using capital because usually I'm uh, in capital. Let me start with one display example that uh, is going to use ansible.builtin command and the simplest command to use example is echo with dollar and example. Here we go. So I'm going to display the example on screen. What else? Uh, I would like to do also something different to assign a task level. So let me copy and paste the same uh, code as before, yes I'm lazy, and uh, here we go. And this time I'm going to assign one environmental variable, same example, but the value of test2. So uh, this is the simplest example, I created one environment variable example uh, for all the play value test1 and I'm going to display on the first task and uh, on the second task I'm going to use uh, the task related variable so I'm expecting test2 directly on the command level. You could specify a lot of different commands and some Ansible module use uh, environmental variable too. So this is the simplest way to display you this code and I really like that Echo is uh, present uh, almost in all POSIX system. So drum roll and let's move to terminal. Welcome to my editor. First of all, let me connect uh, to my target machine uh, with uh, DevOps uh, username at demoexample.com. As you see, it's a fresh machine uh, that I'm using just for this example. Uh, let me echo dollar example variable just to show you that this doesn't exist on the target machine and will be not created is only internal to ansible and uh, will exist only for the lifetime of ansible playbook 
Let me execute my playbook with ansible-playbook command, let me specify also my inventory and uh, the playbook code. The execution is super fast and show two change status as a module command execution. Uh, let me add uh, dash v for verbose output because uh, I would like to see the standard outline and as you can see there are the results that I was expecting so test 1 on the first play and uh, test 2 on the second one which means that uh, the play level environment set it up the example to the value test 1 and was displayed by the first uh, Ansible task. The second one override for the single task the value of example with the value test2 and we can see on the second task. So was exactly what we wanted. I hope that you really like the environmental state and you can apply to your Ansible playbook and simplify your IT journey. This is a very great tool to work, for example, with proxy or with uh, a lot of Unix environmental variables. So it's great to add to your toolbox. And thank you Ansible for this tool, it will be very wonderful. Just one note before leaving, that uh, the environmental variable will last only in the Ansible playbook, so no modification on the target machine. Let's double check together, connecting via SSH, DevOps, uh, the username at demo example com again, and let me print it out with echo dollar example and is empty, which means this variable doesn't exist. So great job Ansible! Now you know how to set remote environment per Ansible task or play. I hope this tool will be useful in your journey and you could simplify or apply to your automation workflow. So thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up, write me a comment and in general keep in touch with you. All your opinion are important for me and see us on the next automation journey with Ansible Pilot. This video is part of our Ansible automation program, sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!